legendary creator Todd McFarlane is going to join me here. And Todd, you've already revolutionized independent comics. You revolutionized the action figure industry. Now you've got your eyes and aim set at something really exciting. And I think it might have to do with The Walking Dead. Yes. Uh, look at uh, 20 years ago, uh, I walked up and down the boys' action figure aisle. And from an artistic point of view, as an artist, I just I just looked at stuff going. I don't I don't understand why it just can't be more detailed and look cooler, right? Be just be more sophisticated looking, right? There's a lot of goofy shiny plastic stuff, and I just thought it was reasonable facsimiles to some extent of some of the characters that I'd been drawing, or that I sort of grew up with as comic book. It's a toy company, and for 20 years I've been proven that you actually can, and a lot of people at the show have taken a page from that playbook and shown yes you can age up toys to us as long as you make it a better product and you actually have the right content and you know can't it can't be teletubbies it now has to be the matrix or something sure so so for me i've been you know last four or five years been walking up and down that uh, building block aisle and you know although i understand my fortune 500 company that are in that in that space do a great business they cater i think to six and seven year olds in their mom sure. and 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 what that means is is that they're not necessarily worried about spending undue time if you will on the art and there and there's nothing there for anybody i think that's like over 14 that's really sophisticated right i mean if i'm 23 years old what what what's the most sophisticated build you have and so what i want to bring is a sense of reality as much as possible given it's still bricks to that category right and just go if you guys don't want to service people over the age of 15 i'll take them on and they still want to play with bricks they i they just want to play with bricks that are now aimed at their personal likes and wants right so look at tv we age up right movies uh, uh, uh we age up our music tastes age up right everything ages up as we get older and the thing that always frustrated me is that our toys don't. And so I remember when I first walked into a big toy comp, uh, store one one time when I was going to start my company. I just I wa I, I literally was in a big toy store. It was a big one, and I said, I'm going to walk around and go, what is in here? That if you're over 13 years of age, what is in this building for you? And I'm telling you, it's very limited. Video game consoles bikes and skateboards and maybe a football and that was it that was just to me that was a sum total and i go there are tens of thousands of items here and i'm 13 and there's nothing here for me and i was going every single one of these things that's here you can sell to a 13 year old or 23 or 33 it just has to actually speak to them so you got to age it up. It, it's just got to be cooler than it is right now. And, and God bless them for not doing it because they're going to leave an opening and I'm going to drive my car right through. I think it's a pretty big opening. And I think uh, one thing that I've always noticed, and we'll not mention names of other companies, but it seems their attitude is consumers going to buy it anyway. I don't need to invest too much time and design and energy into it. But that's never been your approach. Well, well, well look at uh, look. I'm, I'm not here to say anything bad about the, the the people who are making billions of dollars of course I, not. I, I wish i had a billion dollar business model exactly like them of course so i wouldn't change if i was them either sure because that's not who they are but because of that model they they're not servicing everybody and so they've left some people off to the side and my job is to say hey some of those people you're not going after i'm just going to come in and go after that it's not there's no real direct competition sure they they're, they're going to get all the kids and i'm just going to get the kids once they get a little bit older that's okay and of course what we're talking about are the new walking dead sets from mcfarland builds yeah yeah the, well i mean look at the first stuff we got coming out this christmas uh it's going to be exclusive at, at uh, toys r us for 2014 starting in 2015 we open up the floodgates and offer it to everybody even internationally uh, is, you know, the AMC, The Walking Dead show, which is a global phenomenon. And let me just say, too, I'm not a big fan, especially when you're using a brand like The Walking Dead or the NFL and stuff that I do, to use the word collectible. Mm -hmm. these, these are giant entertainment properties, right? And I think it diminishes when people go, oh, it's that collectible thing that's the biggest cable show in the history 
of America, right? Yes. Like, so guys, it's not, this isn't a tiny little niche thing. I can show you some of those a little bit later. This is just me going, if you're going to do Walking Dead product, it's got to look like what people see. Better. Right? Because there's a couple brands that are out that are quote unquote mature right now. And, and the logo's right. But the product doesn't look mature to me. It's, it's really mind numbing to me that I just go, why if I'm 35 years old, would I like this brand, but it doesn't look like what I see with my eyes, right? right? So my job is to now take this brand, The Walking Dead from AMC, and make it look as realistic as possible so that it actually replicates what you see on TV. That's and your it. sculptors do a fantastic job on all your lines yeah. of figures. Right. And, and again, if you if you take some photos and show some, when it's, oh, we'll have plenty. when it's finished, it looks like a piece of art or a model kit. And sometimes people have been walking by and can't quite get their head wrapped around it, which is why we've gotten some of the display cases, all the pieces, and say these pieces turn into this art. Right. And 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 un until you expose some of the pieces and you take them up and you show them that they look just like everybody else's, all of our all of our brick pieces are going to connect to all the competitors brick pieces. Yes. So it's all generic stuff that they go that, that when you when you peel it up, then they finally go, wow, like the, the now I get it. like the prison tower uh, one that we've got here that's fully assembled. I actually had to put the sign up above it yesterday saying How many pieces 623 are in it? Right. because they were going to the governors saying oh i get it because it's all taken apart they were going to the daryl set going oh i get it and then they were looking at this one going i don't understand that and i go it's just, it's the same as the other two and i go get a sign and and we got to tell them that this is 600 pieces too right i should have taken this part one apart for everybody so there's going to be a little bit of an education you see it on the boxes yes we're doing this one little i got one picture to say uh, that's it's 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 blocks, right? Don't worry, it's blocks, and it's going to work. And everybody's excited. Anyone who's seen these so far here at Comic Con is really pumped. If they're fans of The Walking yeah. Dead or just cool stuff in well, general. Well, here, well, here's what's even gets more exciting. If there's any TV, movie, musician, comic book that you like, there's a chance now for me to make about a fifteen dollar build of that guy. Not necessarily a big line, but a fifteen dollar build of that of your favorite entertainment show or whatever book sure. and and when i'm talking to the retailers they're going yeah bring it on Todd. bring it on so they're now and where that's not happening in the action figure aisle so there's now an opportunity to, for me to do all those cool things i've been doing for 20 years especially the first 10 years and then eventually the big goal is that i don't need a brand i just i i build up the the name mcfarland with building block and then i come out with mcfarland military and McFarland monsters, and McFarland dragons, and McFarland robots, and all and of that is going to be of immense interest to our audience. Oh, that's for sure, dude. You just wait till you see my robot build. It is going to be big and badass, and it's going to be cool as hell. So that'll be a couple of years down the line, but I'm going to get there. Any other items uh, you might want to float out that uh, people should keep an eye out that's coming out from uh, McFarland Toys or Image or anything yeah, like that uh, while we're chatting? Well, you know, we're heading very quickly into um, issue 250 for Spawn. Right. Uh, I'm going to bring in uh, a new writer and, and possibly a new artist team on it um, just, just so I can get back to that long-awaited movie I keep dragging on. You know, I, I finally found some time earlier in the year. And I filled it up with the building sets, right? right. So I, every time I keep getting, I keep coming up with another crazy sure. idea. So we'll we'll do that. And then, you know, Image Comics right now, we are we are rocking. I'm like, you got Marvel and DC, and they serve. To me, they're like the Fortune 500 company. Right. It's a given. You can have right. the spandex cr crowd if you sure. want. Sure. But if you want something outside of spandex, I we we're, we're covering that, and we're 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 now the national leader in those books, right? And we're. We're doing good at bookstores right now, you know, hitting a, a bigger Walking audience. Walking Dead trades just blow the yeah, doors off. Yeah, yeah, off. Saga, yeah. doing good. Oh, it's right a great here. comic, the, too. The, the crew right there of Chew, they're doing good, good job. You know, Sex Criminals won a bunch of Eisners last night, so it's, it's that's just... A, that's a great comic, Yeah, yeah, too. we're doing good. We're doing good, so I'm, I'm, I feel like a proud papa that it's like that Image Comic Books, even minus Todd and minus Spawn, will live for another 30, 40 years, which is awesome. And we're looking forward to that as well. Mm -hmm. Todd, thank you so sure. much for spending some time chatting with us today. And we're going to actually take you to uh, the rest of the original presentation about the new Walking Dead building sets. This, this set in front of you, minus the figures, is 123 pieces. And people go, no way. 
I'll, you know, if you want, I'll take it apart and we can build it. It's 623 pieces to get to that thing. It's just that they're not willing to build the silhouette and then put the six, the sexy veneer on it, right? So I'm just gonna put the sexy art on it so that when it's done, it will look like a piece of art so you don't have to hide it if you're a geek like I am. You don't have to hide it in your bedroom. You can actually take it out and put it in the living room and actually be proud because it will look like a piece of art from a distance. Yeah, that's and, and we'll get there. So that, for me, I go, and I think that starting with The Walking Dead from AMC, besides it's a giant global brand right now, the reason for going there is there's two things I think you need to be in that aisle. Number one, I think you need a bunch of figures because you have to have a big breadth of characters. So I think I can, I'm going to be doing characters at this scale that I would never have touched, ever have touched at the six inch uh, scale. The reason is because I'm limited to my shelf space and, and I can only get, they only give me this much depth and I can only put so many characters, I have to take the top one. But at that size, are you kidding me? You give me, anybody here give me two, two feet, I will give you a hundred humans from that show. I will give you the entire cast. I will never give that to you at, at the six inch. And it won't take up a lot of space. So just for me, if I'm a geek, I go, I get the whole cast. Plus I can buy hordes of zombies, walkers. I can build, I can now add as many as I want around each one of these sets. Check. So I've got, I've got the characters. The second part is, to me, the builds have to be relevant. So there are a lot of movies and there are a lot of TV shows that are out there that if you think about it right now and you say, what five sets would I build? I don't know that you could come up with that. Right? You're going to build Batman, you're going to build the Batcave. What else? What else you got? What else? What else you build? Batmobile. Batmobile. Plane Good Manor. Uh -huh. Plane Manor. Oh, there's three. We're good. Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Good. Gotham City uh -huh. Police Department. See, yeah, nobody's been running, but I'm saying it's, it's, it's not, there's not 20, 30 of them, right? Yeah, right. No, they're, right. This, in this one, you start saying Atlanta, the, tech, the tank city. You start saying the jail, jail cell. You start saying virtual, virtual farm. Well, where, where, they, where they kept them in the barn. Oh, the, the zombie well. Hospital right. hallway. Right. Has to, right. Terminus. Uh, all, all of Terminus, right? All of dudes. Whoa, we'll for 10 minutes. And we'll go <laughs> right. check, 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 check. So I've actually got these characters are now the, the environments. So I can now build environments that are relevant, the, the tower is relevant, and then I can put the characters around it. I've got like check one and check two, not just one or the other. So for me, the ones I'm going to be looking for beyond Walking Dead are going to be ones that I think are applicable on both the actual environment and the actual characters themselves. So we're, the, the, the way we're going to roll it out at the beginning is we're going to do single pack, three box. I'm going to give you an SRP single packs in three box. You can buy as many figures you want. We're going to put a, uh, I'll give you the clue. We're going to put an H and a W on each one of the packs, which basically means there's either a human or a walker in there. So if you want to buy a bunch of walkers, you want a bunch of these guys, then buy the W packs. Right, so you're not going, ah, oh, I got Daryl again for the 500th time. Now you can give those away to the girls, because they like him, <laughs> so that, that he's okay. But if you get maybe the 20th most popular character 50 times, you might not be as happy. So I'm gonna limit your aggravation. If you want humans, go buy the human pack. If you want, if you want uh, the walkers, get the walkers. And then we're gonna go to five packs. It will be a mixture of humans and walkers. That'd be around 15. The Daryl on the chopper with the zombie. Uh, on the highway, that's going to be around $19, $20. The governor's room, it's got the, the floating heads in the, uh, the aquarium. Uh, those, which is really cool, they light up. You turn on the lights on both sides, you turn off your bedroom lights, and you get to see these little floating heads. It's awesome. I've done it plenty of times. <laughs> Too bad we can't pull it off here, but it's really cool. And then, and then, and that'd be about $30. And then the big boy here would be about $60, which would be the fence. And, and the prison tower that comes with a couple of uh, figures. So there'll be a range from three to 60. I think there's gonna be three kinds of people that hopefully will jump on board. Those that buy the box, dump it, build it, and love it. Those that buy it, build it, and go, gosh, I, should, I need more figures to make it look really cool. And those that go, I don't care about any of the builds. I just want all the characters. I mean, just give me, give me all the little dudes and I'm just gonna display them like little porcelain dolls. And I think those are the three people. And, Look at 
I've been at this for 20 years. I am telling you right now, I'll hang up my cleaning on this one. If, 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 if this doesn't work, then I don't know what I'm doing because it's, everybody has touched that product across the aisle. And the question is, how do you now take that product and move it up to the 25 year old? And the answer to me is sitting in this case. It's got to look like something that a 25 year old will buy. It has to look like what it is that you guys are selling. I mean, that seems like a fairly simple one. Why'd they let me have that gap and let me drive my car through it here for the next 5, 10, 20 years, hopefully? <laughs> I've, been, I've been driving that car down the Action Drive for 20 years. I'm going to take another lane. We're going to have a good time with it. So, so when you talk about things, yeah, like I can't it, say they're going to drop loud. No, there's two of them. Mattel just bought one of them. So, right. so the, the, the other guys are doing the other mature ones. They're doing Halo and the Call of Duty. Right? I mean, I get, look at those guys, I get, those are big brands. I'm, I'm doing Halo with the, the action figure. It's just, it's, I gotta tell you, as a, as a full fledged adult that's got an artistic mind, it's hard for me to get my head wrapped around that I'm gonna jump off my couch and go get disproportionate figures from that video game that I play. It's, 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 my sensibilities aren't there. So, like, someday I'll be doing. McFarland military, you mark it down, and, and, and it's going to be realistic looking stuff, right? For any of you guys that are old, there's a couple of you, you used to see those big Lionel train sets that people used to do, and it wasn't the train, it was there was the post office, and there was City Hall, and it was all that cool stuff, and the bushes looked like bushes. Here's what's going to happen. I believe, I believe, I'll make a couple predictions, within three years, I'm going to have a subcategory that all I'm going to be selling is props, which is basically keep all your million of bricks. Don't throw your bricks away, because mine, mine attached to their bricks. But when you're building your custom build, and there's a lot of people building a lot of custom build, you're going to get to the point, if you're old enough, you're going to go, and I'm going to use a McFarland window, and I'm going to use a McFarland door, and I'm going to use a McFarland tree, and a McFarland, because those will look cooler than theirs. My tree is going to look realistic, and you're going to be able to build it tall, small, thin, fat, you're going to be able to, you can be able to customize your phone and do all that stuff. Do it. If I'm writing it, okay. Right. Make a block. Yeah. Box is required by uh, the tower. Yeah. Those are the two. Those are the, those are the two big boys in that aisle. Right. Would you have been to collaborate with Lego? Have you talked to Lego? I, mean, I know it's interactive. Would you want them to mix Lego with your pieces or yeah, a look, separate space? Look at, look at, look at, it's fully mind. interactive, correct? Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay. Patents have come and gone. So everybody's allowed to now make stuff that actually right. interacts. So, like I said, if you've got a million of, of their pieces at home, look, I'm, God bless you, build something. I'm going to keep building my library, and then you can put my sexy on top of this. Right? <laughs> Look at it. All I'm trying to do is just hide the dimples, the nipples, the stuff, whatever you want to call those little bumps. I'm just trying to cover up the nipples, right? So I'm doing the opposite of Playboy, right? We're, gonna, we're just sitting there, because as soon as you see, to me, as soon as you see those little dimples or a little nipple, it becomes a toy to me. And I go on, as soon as I cover it, I just want it to be art. And the, and the weird thing is, they actually have the same pieces. They just choose to make them a primary color, high gloss, and it looks, again, it's toy plastic. Where it, mine's gonna be bricks and dirt and gravel and blood and whatever else I can come up with. I mean, it's just gonna be realistic looking. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a lot more paint than you've ever seen. They, you know, you guys are used to stickers. Sometimes they use stickers. No stickers. I'm gonna use a lot of paint, a lot of pad printing so that you can get some of the effects that we need to get to make the same look as realistic as possible. In the initial rollout, how many different versions of the figurine characters are you going to do? Like, I see Daryl on the bike, but are you going to have a version of him like just standing up as well? Yeah, or? yeah, oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so there there will be... So I, I just went over yesterday before I got on 18 different figures uh, that will be coming out between the time we launch and I think like the early spring. Plus, there's going to be variation. Here's the other thing, too. The, the, we're creating a lot of the walkers, right? We're creating a lot of the walkers so that you can be able to mix and match them. So, so, so here's the upside. If you happen to buy a bunch of walkers and you get multiples, 
because you can mix and match them, then you'll be able to make quasi new ones because you can go, that head goes there, that one goes there, and then we're gonna be mixing and matching and doing some new paint jobs as well as all the figures, but as much as possible, you're gonna be able to mix them. I mean, look at, you're gonna be able to make a, a Daryl zombie. You get the zombie body, take his head, pop it on there, you're, you're good to go, right? So you're gonna be able to have some fun with it. It's just that, we're, and, and we're gonna start, we're gonna start slow, but pretty soon that, depending upon the demand, that dam's gonna break wide open. Like I said, I'd like to have 300 here. And initially, will there be, are, will everything be true to the show as far as the content, or will you guys be expanding and say, doing things beyond the show? Like say, if you actually wanted, say, a zombie version, say a Michonne or something like that? Uh, the, 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 it's yes and no. Okay. But most of the leeway will come with the zombie. Okay. Band. Gotcha. You know, just, you know, again, they don't all have to have been referenced like, you know, the walkers are walkers are walkers, mm -hmm. right? So I'll be able to do that. But, but my guess is going to be that people are going to want what's relevant in the show. Mm -hmm. And the closer I can even tie it to the actual events that are happening on TV, even better, right? But then we'll also go back into the library and we'll do some. With the next wave of some stuff that hasn't been approved, but I can show it, you can snap it, I can see it. <laughs> right. I have like the RV, uh -huh. you know, right? Daryl's RV, over 700 pieces. It's big, it's cool. I mean, it looks really good next to this. And it stands on its own, but you put 100 zombies around it, 100 walkers around it. Yeah. And then there's all the detail on the inside. So we're going to go backwards and forwards so that eventually we get the whole, the whole mythology, if you will, of the show. Yeah. Todd, you had mentioned as far as the first wave, you're going to have the packages as humans and as walkers. Yeah. So are these going to be basically blind boosters where people yeah, yeah. will purchase? Just yeah, want yeah, to double yeah. check. Right. But, but, but my thought, like I said, was if somebody, you know, more so with the six-inch figure, people really were leaning towards the humans because they, they had their favorite character. Sure. I think that when people see this, they're going to go, this looks cooler the more of a horde you have. So I think there's going to be a bit of a skew in some cases towards getting the army of the walkers. Because you I can customize them however you want with right, all the various pieces. For somebody who wanted to do that, I didn't want them to go to get 50 of them. I may have to buy 300 because I keep getting these damn humans. Right. right? So I sure. wanted to be able to just segregate it just to eliminate some of the aggravation out of, out of the bill. So you're going to get a zombie. It might be a replica of what you get, but it's still going to be a walker uh, that's there. Good. Put these out on the market. No, no, no. They will be released. Uh, I think the first wave hits here October of this year. Uh, every, everything that you see in the cases will be out this year between October and December. For, I mean, this, this Christmas season, mm -hmm. exclusively at Toys R Us. And then, and then beginning in 2015, we open the floodgates and we open it up to international. Uh, and then we open it up to some of the other big box stores and even some of the smaller mom and pop and whatever. But we made, we made a commitment to, to Toys R Us. So, and so here, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, so here's, here's my, here's what I think is gonna happen. Again, I'll make my prediction. You guys can always come back and look, Todd. Remember, you made that dumb thing. I, I think I need, I think I need two anchors, which is two big brands. So we have one, AMC, the, the Walking Dead TV show. There's one. Uh, Chasing a couple other big ones. Hopefully, within the next month, I'll be able to announce that one to you guys. I'll have my two anchors, and then, and then, the fun part is really in between. And what's in between then is once I set that footprint, the retailer is telling me that they're willing to give me a chance to do sort of these twelve ninety nine little bill that could be things that might not justify a big line that you see back here, but they'd be cool one-offs. And each one of you, I'm sure, has got a favorite movie, character, comic book that you go, how about that? And the answer is yes. Yes, 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 yes. Because now they will just be in an assortment pack. So instead of having to come up with a whole line, I might just do, you know, the $12.99 assortment pack. There's five of them, and it might be from five of your favorite movies. And some of the stuff that I've been known to have done in the past uh, with my action figures, there's now an opportunity to come back and do it again in this category right here at a smaller scale. So 
the answer is yes to all of them. So comic, TV, movie, no matter how big or small, I can do one off of all of this stuff and, and keep it there. So the the big the big plan is and I, again, I don't control the world. The, the, the name's God, only rhymes with God. But, but if, but if they change that one letter, then what will happen is that I'll make enough of an impact that people will then accept my 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 product, just like they did with the action figure. And then what I'll be able to do is create stuff out of my head. And then you'll see McFarland military, McFarland monster, McFarland fantasy, McFarland dragon. Marlin, you name it. robots? Are you kidding me? You just wait till I build my robot, right? It's gonna look cool as hell. I guarantee it's gonna look cool as hell. But the bond. Oh, and what is? Yeah, we'll, we'll get this bond. All right, we'll get to like I, I haven't forgotten my first bond. But again, we'll roll it out when it's all relevant. The time is right. We'll get there. So because the fun to me is then going, how cool can I make stuff if I'm not boxed in by something that's already been pre-designed? I can then use the rule book of building and then put art on top of that building so I can make, you know, because there's been plenty of robots out in the marketplace with the flimsy in the pool. They're not, they're not big and chunky, right? Something that you can put that feels like a statue when you're done with it, right? That feels like a reservoir. This this set? The prison tower. The prison tower and gate? Yeah. It's up, it's up there? Yeah. And when, when you look at we made the announcement that it, it existed, but, but the big thing I, that I wanted to do this weekend was let people like you and the fans see it. Because I gotta tell you, as many pictures as I've taken of that tower, it's not as cool seeing it. I, like, seeing it's way cooler. Because you tell people a tower and a fence, and they're like, yeah, sure, whatever, Tom. But you actually see the fence, you go, that fence is kind of cool. The picture's okay, right? But I haven't been able to take the photo to do it justice. And so I think, besides people figuring out how to build the set and to get the education, I think that it's going to take a while for them to go, no, it's way cooler than the box. What do you get out of the box? I mean, the, the upside of being in the action figure aisle, what I build, you get to see. I don't have to hide it, right? This is my first time where I got to put it behind a piece of cardboard. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's just the nature of you got to build it all up. So I wish, I wish I could somehow show everybody. You know, I'll go around me and put this in a in the back of a car instead of the Pope mobile with this little glass case. My mobile, and I'll just drive around and see. Yeah. With the advent of like 3D printing, you ever see yourself selling like USB scans to make print? Yeah. yeah, so again, as technology goes, and people are someday are going to have printers at home, right? You're going to have printers at home. So the answer is yes. That we, you, you're going you're to see not only us, you're going to see this shift, I think, in 10 or 15 years where toy companies may do nothing other than just send you basically the blueprint. And you get to then do your toy, you get to pick the color, you go, I want that toy to be in that color. I mean, shiny, undetailed stuff is going to be way easier, right? Given that, to me, I do a lot of painting, a lot of wash, and a lot of nuance, that would be, be a little bit more, I think, down the line. But doing smooth stuff, I think I think people can be able to build toys at home for sure, right? Especially blocks, right? Once, they, once somebody gives you the blueprint of block, and you got a printer, the only thing is how many pellets have you got at home because it's just the supply of your plastic. You can keep it you can bring it off all day long. And it's uh, so the question was are we gonna do bigger than six, seven hundred pieces? The, the answer is it depends. And, and, and so it's twofold. One, if the retailers go, yeah, the stuff's selling, Todd, at Christmas time, at the Christmas time, that's when they like the big prices. You can extend it up now to 80, 90, 100, 110. The answer might be yes. The, the other one is that I may just have to, which we're, we're already going to be doing, you're going to be able to buy fence pieces. So you're going to get like a walker, a couple characters, and a fence piece. It looks cool. If that's all you want, buy your computer. You're going to be good to go. But if you happen to buy four or five of those fence pieces, you add it to this, then you're expanding. 
right? So they're going to be expanding parts to it. So, so we're you know like this the cell block. We're going to be doing the cell block in the future. Get that signed off hopefully. Then then our thought is that then you would do then singular cell blocks for each one of the characters. Get different characters with it, and then you can connect it. So so pretty soon. If the retailer doesn't want the $110 bill, I'll just give them the $50 bill, and then you guys get to add on the $50, and all of a sudden you've got the bigger piece at home. I'll, I'll sort of backdoor the big bill, if you will, and then there will, and then beyond all that, we probably will do a couple when we just sell ourselves. So if nobody else wants this, then we'll just do this cool big Mondo $200 bill that's just cool as hell. Yeah, so you'll be able to build the whole uh, we hope someday we hope to be able to at least cobble at least the facade so that from a distance you take a photo you go there's the there's the, the building and then there's you know the, the vehicles that have been turned over and then here's the, all the fencing and then there's multiple towers. So but that'll take a while but we'll get there. For me, yeah, the figures are come apart too, right? So. Yeah, yeah. No, if you watch that video, you'll see you'll see some of the figures come apart. The average figure, look at the average figure is going to have uh, a torso. I mean, think about it as a simple action figure: a torso, two arms, two legs, and uh, a groin and a head. I get that other people are doing stuff with more pieces, but the problem becomes, ladies and gentlemen, that to, to, for me to give you articulation in the wrist, the wrist has to become as fat as my ass, and I'm not willing to make fat ass wrists, nor am I willing to make feet. If you want the feet to plug into your dimples, then you have to make feet that are bigger than my head, and I am not willing to make feet that big. So what, if you see on a couple of these, if you look at them up close, you'll see that a lot of them have little seat clamps on them. So if you want them to stand, and they're going to come with the little personal stands too, you, you can clamp them in with the seat clamp, but then I don't have to give them big bozo feet. I don't want to give them bozo clown feet. So I, my job is to give them reality, as close to reality as I can, and still make them so they can still stand next to each other and you can do everything you want to do. But the other thing that's cool with the, with, the, with the clip is that you can then clip them and we I don't know if we set them up, but you can put them into one of the dimples. Now you can lean them back, they'll hold, and then you can have them so they can actually look like they're getting beat up. So you got a guy with a gun going like that, you can have two zombies going, and they're actually flailing back like they actually got shot. They, they don't have to stand like this, and, and they can move. They can move sideways like this and do things with their arms, and the arms are cool. So that when you move arms like this, so everything won't be what I call sandwich man, which a couple of the other guys like to do. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a little bit more fun with this. You can create some cool action show. So. Any other any other curiosity? Yes, sir. Oddball question here. I can see just looking at the action figures. There are a lot of people out there love tabletop gaming. They love miniatures games. Yeah. They are just dying for a Walking Dead miniatures game. Yeah. Looks like you just gave them the figures. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, look, we know Warhammer's huge, right? I mean... Oh, there's always, more than just Warhammer. I know, but I'm oh, saying, yeah. I'm jealous of their model. Oh, yeah. Just make out a lead, don't put it together, and get them to paint it, right? <laughs> and, char and charge them more than Todd does, when he makes it 10 times bigger. And a lot more does. than Todd does, does. yeah. I've got, I've got it backwards, right? So they're like French cuisine, right? A lot of money, they don't give you a lot, right? So <laughs> I know, uh, I, but to me, uh, if they want to be able to figure out how to use those for other things, I, I don't care, uh, right? You want to figure out how to put hooks on it and decorate your Christmas tree with it every year? <laughs> God bless you, right? So my job is to just produce, put it out, have one function, and if you guys get creative, and I'm sure I will see some of that creativity, on the internet, but here's what I, I know it's gonna happen too. I'm gonna try and make celebrities out of some of the people that buy this stuff. Like you do your custom build, send it to me, I'm gonna post it up on my website. So, you know, immediately, I don't know if it's up today, it might go up this weekend, you go to McFarlandBuilds.com, you're gonna start to see some of that, like again, all that sort of put together. You're gonna be able to see slower versions of how it gets built, some of the things we've got in progress. Because I think there's a, there, like I said, I think there's going to be an education that has to happen. Every time I show this to people, even today, ladies and gentlemen, they're seeing that, they're seeing that, and they go, but I don't get how that one works. <laughs> and so I go, I, I guess I should put this on three levels and take it all apart. It's the same, 
it's the same. It's just I just thought I could have one where I could just put the sexy together. That's how it works. Todd, yeah. about some baseball themed stuff like Wrigley Field, Fenway. Yeah. So look, it was so. Once you start thinking about doing any any category, you start going beyond what it is your initial one. We're trying to figure out how to make it work in sports. The, prob the problem with something like Wrigley Field, and, and, and that's a good thing, is that if, if you hate the club, and you don't like the club, then you're not going to buy it, right? And so there's, there's arguably a, a, a bigger fan base for like popular movies. And popular TV shows that go on. I'm never buying it, right? Okay, well, I'm a Yankee fan, I'm never buying Fenway Park, right? Or vice versa, right? So the thing that's always been tough in the 20 years with sports is that there is some regionality to it and there's there's favoritism to stuff, right? That people just go over my dead body. I never, right? What are you talking about? Cubs fans would never bring anything White Sox into their house, right? So we, we, we'll, we'll, we're going to figure out how to make this work for, for sports eventually. Yeah, can we talk about, again, the same question. Will I expand into other lines? Absolutely. So, but, but again, my, my, my goal isn't to have... Look, my model has always been completely different than the big one, right? I'm a private company. And that means that I can get as big as small as I want. I have I have no ambition to be a giant on any of my corporate why I stayed in one aisle for 20 years. So I can just earn a living, doing art, doing my comic books, raising my family, go coach the kids, and just lead a normal life. And it's okay, right? I don't need to own islands and own franchises. I don't need any of that, right? I just I I, I like having a normal life. So we will expand, but we'll expand in, in, in a sort of a, a reasonable fashion. I don't need to have a hundred of them. So that's after I die and my son goes and does it or somebody takes over the young thing. And, you know, Walt Disney, I gotta tell you, Walt Disney kept stuff at a reasonable pace. If you look at what he did, and then after he died, those people got a little crazy. They went, okay, it's Orlando, right? God bless you. So, uh, so we'll, we'll leave that for others. Right now, I'm, I'm content to be, to be sort of the, the, the beginning of the frontier. I'll come back in 400 years and see the crazy later. Do you think you learned all this in China? Walking Dead? No, Walking Dead. No, Walking Dead. The MC Walking Dead. Yeah, no, no, in, yeah, no, international. We got people lined up international. We just have given a window to Toys R Us. They'll get it, and then, and then we get to open it up. So we'll, we'll, and at that point, we will actually have more items to be able to, to offer them at that point. Maybe more figures. So, we'll, yeah, we'll get there. In time, we'll get there. We're, we're just taking our baby steps right now. You know, this is just more just to show them a little bit. Well, not them. The other guy. You know, it's like plastic can look cool. Plastic can look cool. I can sell it to 70-year-old ladies. I just have to put it in a form that's relevant to 70-year-old ladies. So I just got to do my 50 shades of gray, I guess. And then I can sell it to my mom, right? And she'll buy the 50 shades of gray bill, right? I guess. Or Buffy. Or Buffy. Or that, whatever. <laughs> Julio Iglesias and Tom Jones. <laughs> I, I, I can guess. Anything else? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, talk, we talk about that too. Yeah, yeah. And I suggest all the about you. We'll get, we'll get there. Just, Everybody be patient. I've got to. What has to happen is they're going to give me a little bit of space, and then I got to go in, and then the next part's up to you guys. You guys got to spread the gospel, and then hopefully there's enough people that are over the age of 12 that are going, yeah, cool. And if that works, then they'll they'll give me more space, and the more space, the more ideas I get to fill. So when I got guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna die before I get all those ideas out of my head. Uh, and put it in the plastic form. There's gonna be plenty of stuff. It's gonna come down. You just wait till I build my dragon about this big point about that tall. It's gonna be awesome. Right? It's gonna be awesome. Dragon and the robot. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just hurry out which Uh 
2014 again, exclusive to Toys R Us, and then and then starting in January, the, the doors get thrown open to everybody else, and then both both big, small, and international. So now there's no hold back. Uh, yeah. It's in October, right? Yeah, October. Beginning, middle, end. Uh, from, right now we're tracking about the beginning, about, about the middle of October. The first stuff you can be able to start seeing on the Right around the premiere of the new season. Yeah, yeah. No, and the guy... What a coincidence. Coincidental, isn't it? So the other guys are coming on a little bit late. They're going, ah, we got to start buying it in January and February. But they go, isn't that when the mid-season starts up again? Perfect, Todd. It would load us up in February, right? There's not too many properties that they say, load me up in February, right? So... This is also, besides the environment and the character you're good, it's two times you can actually launch it, which actually be good for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Very kind of you to...